Game charts are cheating devices that allows you to input cheat codes and use them in-game to make the game easier, harder, or to do weird things. Today, I decided to check out some cheat codes for Pokemon Emerald, since there are a lot of weird yet cool things you can do. I will be picking my top 10 favorite Pokemon Emerald cheat codes. Let's start off with number 10. Number 10, Max Pokemon Stats. What this cheat code allows you to do is get 999 power in each stat, basically the most you can max your stat out in. Keep in mind this only works for the first Pokemon in your party. Number 9, Get Any Held Item. This cheat is super fun to fool around with, since it allows you to get a lot of overpowered items, and it's very useful for getting the pesky evolution stones and a bunch of rare candies, or the pricey vitamins. Number 8, Free Master Balls. Planning to catch a legendary? Then this is the cheat code for you. This cheat code replaces all the items in the Pokemart. You finally don't have to spend hours cloning Master Balls, now you can just buy them. One downside is you can't buy them in bulk, but at least you can finally catch a WHOA! Level 100 Rayquaza? Number 7, Wild Pokemon Level Modifier. It's time to get one of the most overpowered Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald. A level 100 Rayquaza. This cheat code allows you to get wild Pokemon to spawn at level 100. So, if you wanted a level 100 Wurmple, hey, no one's stopping you. Another plus is that this cheat code could potentially save you hours of grinding to level 100. But what if you wanted to max out a Pokemon you already have to level 100? Well, I'm glad you asked. Number 6, Infinite Experience Points. This cheat code is the solution to your problem. Finally, no rare candies necessary once again. Now you can finally level up your Pokemon to the maximum. By using this cheat code, your Pokemon's experience points will keep on increasing until you get to level 100 or you turn this cheat code off. Number 5, Infinite Money. While you could use other cheat codes to give yourself items, why not buy them? With this Infinite Money cheat, you can buy all the Pokeballs and potions you want. This cheat code is also super useful for getting overpowered TMs and super cool secret base items. And I don't know why, but the money appears as a question mark on your trainer card, which is very interesting. Number 4, Spawn Any Pokemon. If you had a Game Shark, I'm 100% sure that you use this cheat code to get legendaries. This cheat is super useful for getting those really tricky Pokemon, like Chimeco or Feebas. Oh, and of course, legendaries. Pairing this cheat with others can have insane results, such as a level 100 Groudon with max stats, and it's shiny too? Number 3, Shiny Pokemon. Another popular Pokemon Emerald cheat probably used a lot back in the day. With this cheat, you can finally get the shiny of your dreams. One of the great things about this is you can get shiny legendaries. Strangely enough, this cheat code also changes all the trainer's Pokemon to be shiny as well. I guess everyone gets a shiny Pokemon today. Number 2, Walk Through Walls. Where do I begin? Easily the most popular, most common cheat found everywhere. People would use this cheat everywhere. To be fair, this cheat code is very useful for skipping all the trainers and wild encounters on a route, and it's also very useful for catching legendaries like Rayquaza. But if this cheat code is this useful and great, how powerful is this cheat truly? Let's put it to the test. Number 1, Warp Anywhere. There's a reason why this cheat is number 1. While you might think Walk Through Walls is better, this tops that. With this cheat code, you can catch a lot of legendaries, like Mew, Ho-Oh, and more. Or go straight to the Hall of Fame if you wanted to. Number 0, The Final Test. Now that I've looked at a list of Pokemon Emerald cheat codes, I began to wonder what would happen if you paired up all these cheat codes together. And I can't be the only one. What is the most hacked Pokemon you can get using only cheat codes? If you know anything about cheat codes for Pokemon, you'll know that some people make cheat codes that give you overpowered Pokemon. They might replace one of the slots in your party or elsewhere in the box. And for this goal I have, I will not be using these cheat codes since half the time they don't work and it would just take the fun out of it. Now onwards with the plan, creating the most overpowered Pokemon using cheat codes only. First, we gotta pick the Pokemon. 
I picked Rayquaza since it's legendary, it's powerful, and hard to get. Now we can use the shiny cheat, oh and a bonus 31 IVs in every stat, then I can spawn it. Catch it in a master ball of course, and now it's time to get maximum stats. Then raise it to level 100, and buy some overpowered TMs. Then also give Rayquaza the leftover items, and boom, it's done. A level 100 shiny Rayquaza with leftovers, max stats, and a great moveset. Time to put it to the test. While I could just fight against the Elite Four and Champion, I would always win since my stats are maxed out, and they're not very powerful anyways. So how about a challenge? My legit powerful Latios that I won gold symbols with, with 394 special attack, who will win? To spare you the battle, I wasn't able to win. However, I did do some damage. This Pokemon had more defense than I thought. I did throw Rayquaza into a loophole, and have it damage itself with confusion after outrage. Maybe next time, I'll be able to defeat it.